All right, ladies and gents, welcome to the April Fool's AOE2 map. Now, apparently we'd done this before. I say apparently, I do remember vaguely doing it last year, but I didn't allow myself to be spoiled with how it all works. I do recall like, like surprises like wolves and iron boars and all these types of different things. So anyways, I'm going to quickly introduce the players. It is actually a King of the Hill game. So the goal is to control this monument. But the idea with this map is there's surprises around every corner, okay? In the teal, we have Woodhouse playing as the Khmer. In the yellow, one of my favorite names, we have Comrade Keshik playing as the, uh, the Byzantine. In the gray, we've got good old Johnny Galt playing as the Gurjaras. In the orange, we have Cyanide as the Malians. In the blue, we've got Stragor Tree as the Malay. In the purple, we have Orange Juice playing as the Hindustanis. And guess what? This player actually played last time around we did this map. Uh, someone confirmed that for me in the video. In the green, we've got Lorhe playing as the Slavs. And last but not least is WDW Kid, who also played in this last year. So I noticed the map hasn't really been updated, but oh my god, there's a wolf under each town center. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Orange, did you notice? April Fools! Does that happen every time they finish a goat, maybe? How did that happen at the same time? I bet you that's when they finish an animal, guys. So there's surprises around every corner. What? Now there's a relic? Oh, God. And now there's more relics? <laughs> well, this, is, this isn't necessarily a prank. Relics could be pretty cool. Oh, God. Okay, more wolves. So, yeah, this is going to be extremely hard for me to cast. Because I don't know what's coming. I am curious on if there's going to be any crazy shenanigans, though, with the elephants here. Okay, this is an April Fool. Cyanide just doesn't know how to bring in elephants. Um, I'll keep you updated. Uh, you do get resources from being in the middle on King of the Hill. So, players are contesting the middle right now. Um, let's see, Cyanide, try this again. <laughs> so I should have chose a different player. <laughs> Cyanide, I love you, but holy crap. And green with the dot, 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 as there's random wolves appearing all the time. Third time's the charm. There we go, Cyanide. Cool, cool, cool. So thus far, as this villager is actually stuck in the relic. His boot is stuck in the relic. Don't you hate it when your boot gets stuck in relics? That's the worst. It seems like when a unit uh, dies... Uh, then a new unit appears. And woo, 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 woo. That wolf just killed a villager. Loom would be a fantastic upgrade for you, Cyanide. Nope. Okay. I'm trying to look to the death right now because I know there's probably been some death. And WDW Kid has apparently lost two villagers as well. Yeah, we had them go random civilization. I want to wish a happy April to everyone out there. And oh, that's an iron boar? That's an iron boar. Okay, the thing about Iron Boars is they take one damage a hit from a vill, and they've got tons of HP and tons of attack. So you need to shoot that with the town center, and these things are nightmarish. Oh, no. See, I didn't think there would be Iron Boars because I saw elephants out there. And oftentimes on map with Iron Boars, now Gray's going to lose vills. Woo, 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 woo. Um, it, you think it's a regular boar, and you run up to it, and then it's a surprise boar. Now, I don't want to hear any of these players complain, all right? Because people want to get into my community games. And I did explain this is going to be kind of tough to play. But I do also feel kind of bad. What's happening here? Okay, you take the berries and then it turns into a tree. Well, that's pretty handy. That's good for the environment, right? Eat a bush, plant a tree. I'm pretty sure I saw that on a billboard somewhere. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, it's, oh, God, there's two of them. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Iron Boars are so strong. How many of my viewers remember the map uh, Dave's Funhouse? So it's a map called Jungle Animals. But then basically, I don't know if it's fair to say Dave stole it. I think it was a Wii thing. 
David showed it to me, and then I thought it was going to be way better if we if we called it Dave's Fun House. Basically, it was a map that had tons of iron boars on it, uh, and it was a nightmare to play, but it, it didn't really surprise you in the same way that this map does. Like, where are these things coming from? Do they ever disappear? If you kill one, does the other one... Like, do they come back? That's an iron boar in there. Oh, man, this is so much worse than I expected. Mm. Let's watch this again. I have to pay very close attention to this. Okay, he can kill it and actually hunt it now. That was actually really good because there's 700 food on the iron boar. Interesting. Couple people on the way to feudal age. We do have a monument to focus on as well, by the way. Everywhere you look, there's people dealing with iron boars. <laughs> oh, God. I guess it wasn't the true April Fool's experience if I warned them ahead of time, but can you blame me? Honestly, Castlage is going to be so nice, though, because they could heal up their weak villagers with monks and also take all these relics. At least they get the relics, because that'll be nice for their golden come. Oh, God, be careful, Red. The thing about iron boars is they don't have a ton of vision. So if you don't get close to them, sometimes they'll just stand there. But, uh, you know, you got a, a lot of standing around here in Red's economy because you've got uh, trees turning into bushes now. So it's the opposite effect. So this guy is currently stuck in a bush. And now that, oh God, now the iron boar has been brought in. Oh, yikes. Okay. You know what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to keep the deaths up. Wood Woodhouse has lost 10 villagers. Oh, no. Oh, God. So I think the iron boars respawn. I think the play, the way to do this, let's see if this food, what happens when this food disappears, is to actually kill it and not take the food. Right? Because the food will decay naturally. So you have to kill it with a villager, but then just let it there. I think it's worth it. Because what Blue is doing is he's just increasing the time that that uh, boar is going to respawn. I remember the YouTube comments from the first time we did this, and people were like, what do you mean it's not fun to play? It looks amazing. I, I, maybe I'm crazy, but I could have sworn that people had comments on that. I'm wondering if people are going to think that now. Certainly so much more fun to watch than play. I want to watch Blue. Like, again, because he's eating this food, like, this is fine, but he's eating this food, so that's going to become a new Iron Boar. Okay, he's got a donkey now? Isn't this like a trade donkey? Didn't they kind of steal this idea for AOE 4? I think AOE 4 has trade donkeys, right? Uh, it's been a bit since I've stepped foot into that game. I'm going around, trying to do some updates for you. Gray dealing with another Iron Boar. Shocker. Surprise. Maybe we'll see Gray make some army to deal with this or something. More villagers dying. Not a great time. How's Yellow? Yellow's doing a pretty good job. Probably needs to avoid this golden stone situation. Red, same deal. It's eating the boar. Could be a mistake later on. You can actually eat the wolf here, guys. Yummy, yummy. Makes it to Castle Age, though. That's really good. And still has control of the middle here. The donkey is an extreme trade donkey. It has a bonus. Oh, does it? You mean this vert? Like, just for this mod, this has a bonus? Or in general. Let's zoom in on the donkey. The donkey's just witnessing the boar murder. And there you go. So it's a straight free-for-all, guys. And, oh god, Johnny is attacking Yellow as if this could get any worse. And Yellow's not a fan of it. Comrade Kashik, love his name. And he's telling Johnny to stop that because they've got to fight the elements for now. Hmm. This is my first time joining your stream, so what's an iron boar? Okay, I, I should have explained it. If you didn't pick up on it already, basically it's a super strong boar. And while it does have double the food, it takes so little damage. It's just, it's not fun, right? Iron boars are hell on earth, uh, in Age of Empires terms anyways. And 
The players have to be pretty creative to deal with these things. And it's not something you're going to encounter in a normal game. It's something that you can script into maps with scenarios. Oh, you got it. Okay, wait, 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 no, don't move, no! Oh, that would have been perfect! I'm pretty sure if Woodhouse would have never moved that vill because he was stuck in the relic, that Iron Boar would have been fixated on him forever. Dang. Yeah, Ducks, I'm not sure if college football reference is going to resonate with the majority of the people who will watch this, but I appreciate it anyways. Oh, God. Nope. You just got to leave that open. That's a no-wall zone here, yellow. Dude, comrade, what do you think's going to happen here? <laughs> no! No! Don't bring it to your base! Don't bring it to your base! Get it away! <laughs> okay, thank you. It's so easy for us to just be like, guys, what are you doing? But I think when you're in the game, it's it's harder to think about things, especially when you know people are watching. Okay, we're going to now see Arns try and use knights against these things. Or at least to distract it. Okay. Nope. Oh, God. We got walls. Is he trying to wall it in? Oh, I know that. You know what the play is? Could you wall in the carcass, maybe? Kill the boar, wall in the carcass, so when it respawns in the same spot. Oh, this is getting... It, there's a new meta here. Trust me. I think he's going to try it. But you want to kill it away from the TC. Okay, well... Nope, now it's... <laughs> now it's just a brand new boar. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Purple was one of the players that played the first time. Got 38 vills right now. Starting to build TCs away from the starting area. Did wall in the elephant. Not the boar. Well, maybe taking the elephant is what spawned the boars in the first place. So maybe that was actually kind of smart. I don't know if you needed to wall it in. Um, but anyways, the TCs in the other areas is a good location. You've also got some castles going up to secure the middle because this is King of the Hill. Happy April Fool's. Green has the most eco, though. Green's got an insane economy, actually. It continues to take these boars. And whoa, wait a second. Is there a strat that we've been missing out on? Oh my god. I think I know what he's doing. This is this is genius. Guys, for some reason, this is it, this shouldn't be possible, but it looks like a bug. It's letting you build a palisade wall over the iron boar's dead body. And I think what happens is the Iron Boar will spawn right where it's laying right now. And it gets stuck inside of the Palisade. Let's watch this. Ready? Uh, the building over boar thing was a bug that the game had a few months ago. I, I don't think it works for normal boars. I think it just must be because of this scenario. Watch. It's going to be stuck. I guarantee it. It's either that or it doesn't spawn at all, but I think it will just be stuck there, which is why he's able to take it. And boom. Yes, and it can't attack you now. Oh, well, back away, my friend. <laughs> back away! <laughs> Yo, Green, I'm trying to do you... I'm trying to give you props here. Okay, well, that's the idea. He's obviously doing other things. <laughs> It's a really smart idea. There we go. And now you... Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, I take it all back. I take it all back. He doesn't know the way. And he's just going to make a castle. I mean, he's got 79 villagers, so he's not putting as much focus on that. Really good economy there. Countdown is on. 240 years. Mm. Oh, man. I mean, these guys have, like... Knights and camels and everything out here with monks healing. The Byzantine healing speed is pretty strong here. Wait, where did the boar go? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Rip to that guy. Is that all Yellow's army is going to do here is just consistently kill the boars? I mean, as long as you don't put any more villagers there, it's probably worth it. Okay. 
Oh, God. <laughs> you ever just look at someone's base and just feel anxious for them? Because <laughs> that's what I feel right now. <laughs> Poor Johnny. He's so scared of the world, man. <laughs> it's just a continuous cycle of the same crap. Uh Oh no, that that might not even be enough. I so I said it before. I think if you wall in the oh god, I think if you wall in the uh, boar foundation, not wall on top of, but wall around it, you could trap them because they do spawn back in the same spot. It does seem like the yeah, like look, blue did that right. So now I can never hit you. And Grace says, take pity on me. It's straight free-for-all, so they've got to deal with the elements, but also deal with each other. And Gray just... And Gray has, has taken the most losses here, has struggled the most, certainly. Uh, the total KD. Guys, look at the deaths for Gray. I did not... I, I, I knew it would be bad. I didn't know it would be this bad. 34 deaths for Johnny Galt. And counting, because the Iron Boars are obviously still here. Got 23 for Cyanide, uh, 18 for Woodhouse, 12 for WDW Kid. Stragor Tree, Lorhe, Comrade Keshik, and Orange Juice have all done a very good job, though, I have to say. The fact that they've been able to manage it so well has been impressive. I wonder if you can actually decide on if you're mining gold or mining stone in these instances. I guess if it looks more like stone, it's going to prioritize stone, and if it looks more like gold, it'll prioritize gold. Actually, no, it's probably the opposite. Yeah, like this villager's collecting gold because you're on the stone, and this villager's collecting gold as well. Yeah, you can't really decide. It probably has both there, but they're stacked on top of each other, so you need to finish one to be able to take the other. Hmm. 170 years. This is a King of the Hill game. Alrighty. Good old April Fool's action. What's the relic count at right now for players? Does anyone remember what spawned the relics? Was it... Was it the wolves, maybe? Because it went sheep, then wolf. And then I think maybe wolf, then sheep. I should have been paying more attention to that. We've got Karambit Warriors here from Stragor Tree. Remember, Orange Juice played in the, the other April Fool's game. That was not planned. It just so happened that we drew for the community games here, and Orange Juice got in for this game again. Now we have a treb for orange juice. Now orange juice has the middle, right? So one of the best tactics you can do to push people out of the middle is take their main base because they're going to have everything focused on the middle. And Gray is just like, this is my life now and doesn't... And it just continues the same old cycle, you know? The same negative cycle. I think Stragor Tree is in a good position. Krambits are actually really good against the Hindustanis, unless the Hindustanis have gunpowder. But, like, the Ghulam, I think, would lose to the Krambits. The Camels would lose to the Krambits. Krambits are an underrated unit, man. I'm finding that out more and more these days. Was that Donkey? Okay. Uh, what do you do with that? Click it to a market, maybe? This is a trade unit, I think. Okay... Castle will go down for Orange Juice for sure. Orange Juice just committing to Camels, thinking my Camels attack faster, but Camels do no bonus damage against the Krambits. Krambits are weak unit in and of themselves. They only take up half a population spot, though. And a lot of them, very effective. The little termites, we call them. I don't see Purple winning this game with how this is continuing. Blue has his heart set on killing this guy pretty easily. But I think Lorhe is my favorite to win the game because second place the Stragor Tree currently making infantry. The Slavs have some answers to infantry. They have so many answers to infantry, whether that be their own infantry or their boyars or their siege. Sheesh. The Krambits with the new tech would be great for raiding. I don't actually think that Malay should get that technology. Um, we'll see if they implement that in the new patch. Because I think certain things are not going to go through. I think they probably will. 
I think it could actually be OP. Like, M melee in general could be insanely strong. I think... I, I mean, it's, they're going to add new stuff, right? So there's going to be things they're going to have to fall back on eventually, but... I think the, the the additions proposed to melee have actually gone a little bit overboard, but it'll be we'll see. The free armor for infantry, because elite karambits are already insane in key situations. Giving free upgrades to the melee could be pretty crazy. Oh God, yellow has now sent brought the trade donkeys underneath Gray's TC. They're now dead. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the, the tech won't apply to Krambits, but it'll apply to other infantry for melee. And then the free infantry armor upgrades as a Civ bonus would obviously have a big effect on Krambits. Green resets the countdown here. Purple is dying. Purple will be out of this game shortly. And red says we have to attack ASAP. And red is making Keshix. Yes. Some of these other guys are probably like, well... I could if I would. <laughs> oh, man. Now, sadly, no one's Lithuanians. Lithuanians would have been amazing here because of all the relics. Aztecs, too, because you get all the gold from the relics. This is kind of funny. Orange can never take this relic because this relic is part of what's walling in that boar. You can see Orange had the right idea there, too. By just taking a little bit longer for Orange to come to that conclusion. Purple does reset the countdown, and now every time the countdown's reset, uh, it goes up to 100 years, and the countdown restarts. Hmm. So get eco count real quick. Here's the left side. Gray, 49. Purple, 47. Woodhouse, 62. Everyone else is over 100, though. So five out of the eight players can be pretty competitive here, I'd say. I do think the Slavs have the greater potential of all the civilizations uh, because of the, the siege and the infantry. But we'll see. I'm going to assume Drazine is in for these halberdiers. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's hard for me to really gain a grasp on if it is, but it, it, I'm going to assume it is here. And the Keshiks are getting destroyed. Green will lose a castle, though. Simultaneously taking a castle out over here. And look at the Karambits go, man. Um, I mean, our team was pretty much dead. But in Black Forest game the other day, I went full Karambits against Bohemian Gunpowder and was pushing it back. 40, 50 hand cannons plus Hussars. Not from Bohemians, but from Spanish. And full Karambit spam did it, which is why I feel like free armor upgrades for Malay is a dangerous, dangerous thing. And also, you know what's unique about this, guys? Look at the military count here for Straggler Tree. Is that you only need one unit in the middle at all times on King of the Hill. And it still counts as one unit, even if for Malay, it counts as half a population space. This is crazy. Look at these guys go. Elite Karambits now. They weren't elite for a bit. You know what would be kind of funny? If this was a diplomacy game and everyone was allied, but you wanted to screw someone over, you could run into their base. I'm not sure. I guess this one escaped. Run into their base and take out the palisade and then just run away. <laughs> just unleash the iron boars into their eco. I take it back. Blue's going to win this game. Uh, green needs massive siege on your shots, both for our entertainment, but also to have any chance. That is going to be too many Karambit Warriors. There's 144 of them. There's 50 years left. Blue's going to win this April Fool's game. And you can use a couple Karambits just to snipe the Siege Onagers to keep all your friends protected. Uh-oh. Oh! oh! Um, at least that would be the idea. Oh, God, they die so fast. Sheesh! But they do a lot of damage for how little they are, right? Hey, yeah, look at that. That's totally worth the loss. Scorpions, maybe? Yeah, I actually think Scorpions would be a better play. Um, because it's more of a guarantee that you're going to get the shot. You don't actually have to control them as much, but it's probably too late. It's, at this point, you're just committed towards Siege Onagers. He's trying to go Siege Onager champion, which, again, I said is very strong. 
but anyone who can make a move now needs to be making a move towards the middle with this much time left. Krambits just destroy. Like, a, like a lot of people think Krambits are weak, but I think Krambits would actually still be super good if they didn't take up half the population space. And I'm I'm learning that more and more with the Krambit Warriors. You can see Green's now made a Scorpion or two, but... I mean, Red needs to head to the middle. Red's, I guess, fighting Green because they had butted heads before. It's at 20 years. And let's see what these elephants from Woodhouse could do. Um, some of them can engage, which is kind of awkward. Come on, Teal. Fight it. Fight it. Fight it. Fight. Fight. 14. There you go. Ooh, okay. Blue knows now I can't be taking these fights unless I have more units coming in. It's all about reinforcements here. 10 years. Champions coming in. No siege. Oh, boy. We got seven years now. We got the units surrounded here. Oh, God. The Kramitz are going to die so quickly, but as long as there's reinforcements all the time. Again, he just needs one unit here. And everyone started to converge on the middle a little bit too late here. Blue's going to get the win. And the whole point of this game wasn't necessarily the hill. It was to play the April Fool's settings. And I apologize to you, Johnny. I apologize to you, Orange Juice. Everyone who struggled the most in this, I feel really bad about. But, you know, you kind of knew you're signing up for something crazy. And happy April Fool's, everyone out there. I mean... I, I didn't want to, like, the, the other alternative for me as a creator with April Fools was to clip, clickbait one thing and then not do it, right? Um, like, oh, there's going to be a Forest Nothing tournament and then not do it. Like, that's just mean at that point. So this is what we ended up going with. Great to see some Malay love, though. Stregor Tree played it super well. Let's look at this KD. Painful, painful game to play. There's the total KD. Obviously didn't look that pretty for Stregor Tree. But uh, Johnny struggling a little bit there. Uh, a lot of those were villager losses, obviously. Uh, the economies. Once the players were able to deal with the iron boars, not too bad. Uh, particularly from green and red and blue. Kind of sucked for WDW Kid and Lorehead that they ran into each other. I think it was very easy to underestimate blue. It's very easy when it's fast speed, which, by the way, who is my host again? What are we doing fast speed for? Um... Another April Fool's thing, I guess. But it, when it was fast speed, time was flying so much faster. And so uh, with the game being as crazy as it was, I think everyone was just a little bit later to the middle because of running into each other and due to the speed. But I had a, uh, I had a great time casting it. It was a good game. Fun stuff. Wasn't the longest game ever. Hope people enjoyed. Happy April Fool's. Tell me in the comments your best April Fool's prank that you've ever, ever made. If you did one at all i'm trying to think now did i ever do an april fool's joke i did i you know what guys i had a senior prank which is a pretty long story which i've never told my audience ever which is crazy because it's actually <laughs> it's actually a really good story I don't think this is the time now. We don't have a game. I could probably tell it during another cast at some point. But I don't know if I ever did like an April Fool's joke. I don't know. I renamed all the channels on Discord. No, I didn't do anything like that. But yeah, I'll just... This is a bit of a tease, but I'll just say that I do have a senior prank story at some point to tell. Um, when there's a time and a place, I'll tell it. How's that sound? My favorite was putting plastic wrap under the toilet seat. Oh, God. Oh, that's the worst. She faked that she loved me and broke my heart. Oh, guys. We're either going for super disgusting ones or super real ones. Oh. All right, I regret bringing it up. GG.